Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this video we say about a T flip flop. We will see how a T flip flop is derived from a JK flip flop and we will see the simulation in uh, Qhooks. Let me start with this presentation. So the speech is organized and you are learning outcomes, then the circuit of a toggle flip-flop and its simulation in cubes, then summary of understanding. So in this session you will learn to derive a T flip-flop from a JK flip-flop. You will le uh, learn the working model and truth tables of T flip-flop and you will simulate T flip-flop in cubes and very long. So JK flip-flop becomes a T flip-flop with J n equal to o, o, k n equal to t n uh, if j and k are shorted so that uses the first and fourth lines in the jk flip-flop to table that is for j equal to k equal to 0 and j equal to k equal to 1 in the first line that is j equal to k equal to 1 qn plus 1 is qn so with t n equal to 0 qn plus 1 is qn and with j equal to k equal to 1 or t n equal to 1 uh, that is uh, qn plus 1 is a complement of uh, qn qn plus 1 is qn bar so the model becomes, uh, you know, the model of a JK flip-flop is QN plus 1 is JN QN bar or KN bar QN. Here JN equal to TN and JN KN bar equal to TN bar. So it is TN uh, and QN complement or TN and QN. You know, the, uh, there is only one input that is TN that is JN equal to KN. Now it becomes uh, TN X or QN. Qn plus 1 is uh, Tn x or Qn. It means that if uh, Tn equal to 0, Qn plus 1 equal to Qn. That is, if Tn equal to 0, it becomes uh, Qn plus 1 is Qn. And if uh, Tn equal to 1, Qn plus 1 is uh, Qn bar. Because 1x or Qn uh, is Qn bar. And uh, since this uh, toggling happens, uh, uh, you have the name of a toggle flip-flop. The truth table is this uh, with the tn equal to 0 and the clock active qn plus 1 is uh, qn that is a previous state and with tn equal to 1 uh, and the clock equal to 1 qn plus 1 is qn bar so t flip-flops are used in ripple or asynchronous counters and when you make a jk flip-flop one has to be very careful that you have to have a energy triggered or master slave kind of configuration because there is a condition tn equal to one that is jn equal to kn equal to one that can cause a race around if you don't use a energy triggered or a master slave type flip-flop so here i use a master slave type uh, jk flip-flop uh, this uh, one is my master that is positive energy trigger and uh, this one is a slave that is a negative energy trigger so here j and k are shorter to form the t input uh, this, this, so this becomes a T flip-flop and we, we have to see the uh, simulation in cubes so here I can show you a simulation here uh, this circuit is nothing but a energy triggered JK flip-flop this is nothing but uh, a D flip-flop configured as a JK flip-flop here you can see that uh, this this is my Q bar this is this input is my J input so Oh, this this is my k input uh, they are shorter together now you can see that uh, this is a j q bar this is an and gate though so this input is j q bar uh, and this is an or gate here it is k bar this input is k bar and uh, q n so you know that uh, uh, the, the this is a model of a jk flip flop because in jk flip flop q n plus one that is equal to uh, j q n bar or k n bar q n here this is what the, so this is a realization of a jk flip flop with a d flip flop so here it is uh, the input is uh, d n here Th this becomes uh, q n plus one becomes this d n so whatever coming here uh, that will appear as q n plus one here so what is appearing here that is uh, j q n bar this is q bar j q n bar or k bar q n so this is my uh, D input that will appear as QN plus 1. So the whole thing from here to here, uh, 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 from here to the right, if you see, it's a JK flip-flop. A D, D flip-flop is configured, an triggered D flip-flop is configured as a JK flip-flop. Now here this J input and K input are connected, uh, shorted and uh, 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 connected here. So here instead of, uh, if it is a 1, uh, if this uh, t input is a 1, you can observe a toggling of the clock. Here the t input is kept at 1. Uh, okay. Here you observe the uh, toggling of the clock. You can see that this is a clock signal. This t is kept uh, high. 
So at every uh, uh, positive going clock, uh, there is a uh, phase, uh, there is a toggling. So here initially the Q output is high, it remains here. Here uh, the clock becomes active and the output toggles and it stays in the zero condition up to this point where again it toggles where you see an active clock and it again toggles, it comes here, it toggles again that way. So you can see that uh, the frequency of uh, Q is uh, half that of uh, uh, clock. <coughs> so it is working like a frequency uh, uh, divider circuit. It divides frequency by two. Uh, if this is 500 hertz, uh, this will be 250 hertz. Okay. So this is a divide by two counter. Each uh, T flip flop with the T equal to one, it is acting like a frequency divider. Uh, frequency divider uh, division by two. So here T is one and clock is, uh, uh, here initially Q is high and here uh, the clock becomes uh, an active and again it toggles. It stays here again at the next active clock, it again toggles. You can see that uh, this frequency is uh, half that of the clock frequency. So this uh, D flip flop, this is a uh, bistable multi vibrator. This acts as a frequency divider or frequency, uh, each uh, one flip flop with t equal to 1 t flip flop with t equal to 1 that uh, that uh, achieves a frequency division by 2. Now if I uh, connect uh, uh, another signal here uh, you can uh, run this simulation you can see this here now this is a t input you can see the blue the green line is a t input here the clock is there initially t is low from here to here so the output stays there because here uh, uh, the clock is active so it stays in the previous value with t equal to 0 it remains in the previous value here t goes to 1 now again, uh, but uh, uh, output does not change state because it is waiting for the clock. Now here the clock appears and uh, uh, toggling happens. Okay, here uh, t equal to 1, so it toggles from 0 to 1 and stays here. Here again an active clock comes and uh, uh, t is 1, so again toggling happens. It comes here. Here at again uh, t equal to 1 and toggling happens. Here uh, 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 t is 1 but the clock is not there so no toggling happens. Here at again at 12 nanosecond toggling happens. So when t equal to 0 it stays in the previous value and uh, with t equal to 1 it uh, toggles to the other state. So this is how a t flip flop is uh, used. Now what you learned in this video is that you learned to derive T flip flop from JK flip flop. The first and fourth lines of the JK flip flop result in T flip flop. That is when J equal to K equal to 0 or when T equal to 0 it stays in the previous state. If J equal to K equal to 1 or Tn equal to 1 then the output is a complement of the previous in previous output. So that the next output is a previous is a complement of the previous output. Qn plus 1 is Qn bar. So these are used in asynchronous counters because each uh, T flip flop with the T connected to one it acts like a frequency divider. Uh, frequency it achieves a frequency division by two. So the, the, when cascaded it can uh, do frequency counting. So then you learn the working model and truth table of uh, T flip flop. Uh, Because we saw the model here, uh, it is uh, Tn x or Qn is a model, Qn plus 1 is Tn x or Qn, that is a model of the uh, T flip flop. Then you simulated uh, the T flip flop in cubes. And that is the end of this presentation. I thank you all.